you the most, something that you will take back to Japan as your bond with them? I think Japan, the India, uh, from the perspective of the Japanese, is very complementary, synergetic in the sense. Uh, even though we are in sharp contrast, we are very homogeneous country. Uh, everybody looks Japanese. Everybody understands what is Japanese. Uh, the fundamental question I have for India is who are Indians? What unite Indian people? So, what's the identity of yours? And I have been puzzled many years because India is, uh, is renowned for such diversity. And I wonder if there is any single identity for India uh, for explaining such, including such diversities. But uh, uh, after spending uh, several times in India, and particularly after uh, this experience, experiment, experience with soil people. Now I'm more or less convinced that uh, diversity, unity out of diversity, and uh, somehow uh, uh, order out of chaotic disorder uh, is the identity we India. So uh, it is very, very interesting actually for, for Japanese. And we believe that uh, since we are a very homogeneous country, uh, we can learn a lot from uh, India. Uh, India could be uh, no complement at all. However, India could be uh, the best learning opportunity for any Japanese who want to do a uh, global business from now on. Uh, partly because we are so, such a homogeneous country with homogeneous culture, we lack sensitivity to heterogeneity. And by meeting with soil and soil students and coming to India allows us to uh, develop our sensitivity to something different, something uh, diverse. Uh, we can actually put ourselves in the shoes of others, say that uh, we are different, however. That is, that enriches our life. That's why I believe that's a, that's a great opportunity for between India and Japan. That's well said because even I uh, truly really believe that there are a lot of synergies between India and Japan and there is a lot to learn between uh, so many, Mutual so, much of, uh, so much of learning that we bring together to the table. So that's something uh, very wonderful. So, would you like to share something about uh, your, if there is any thought about Indian economy and industry as a whole? I'm not macroeconomist, so I'm not really in a good position to say that. Uh, but we are pretty much, I was pretty much confident in the growth of India, even though uh, annual GNP uh, get down from 9%, 8, 8, 8 to 9% to 4.4% or so. Uh, because of uh, the, uh, the hope in the eyes of India, uh, when you come to Japan, ironically, uh, when you meet with Japanese young people, you don't find hope uh, in the eyes of young people. Here in this country, maybe similar to other uh, emerging countries, we can see a lot of uh, aspirations, a lot of hope uh, in the eyes of young Indian people. That matters a lot to me. And I am confident that you will emerge as the most important country in Asia, much bigger than Japan, much more important than Japan. Thank you so much for such nice words. And uh, also, since uh, since we are all about strategic leadership and inspired leadership, so would you like to talk a bit about how do you define strategic leadership and how does it relate to inspired leadership as per your <laughs> that has been very interesting. I still keep, we still keep the name of strategic leadership because that's a name given my, my past mentor, Samantha Kusha. I have no intention to change that name for the rest of my life. However, uh, our real focus is not on strategies. Uh, strategy comes second, uh, leadership comes first. The essence of leadership is uh, I don't borrow the concept from Adil-san. Uh, 
the bank from our inception. We keep saying that leadership is not leading people. Leadership is leading ourselves. So uh, I give some of the uh, board uh, of ISL to soil students today. Uh, there's over there. Uh, the logo is lead the self, lead yourself. So now you know actually how to lead yourself. Uh, in order to lead yourself, you need to reflect on yourself and ask, your question, ask yourself a question. Who you are? What matters most to you? If this is the end of the day, what you want to accomplish? And what you are most concerned? And you are the ultimate joy come from uh, serving others. That is not only Hindu tradition, that is also comes from Chinese tradition too. Virtue comes from uh, the person's capability of serving other uh, people uh, in the best efforts. So uh, even though you come from uh, Indian spiritual tradition, I come from Chinese, Japanese and the Confucianist, Confucianist traditions, a lot of similarities. That is amazing. I'm so amazed by uh, yesterday's Anil's lecture on inspired leadership. So, one more thing, the, uh, Anil san told me the uh, ultimate element of inspired leadership is truth. Truth. Uh, six elements. One fundamental one is truth. Uh, I am a fellow of a very famous uh, industry leader in Japan. Uh, his name is Kazuo Inamori of Kyocera Corporation. I'm the fellow, I'm the student, disciple of Inamori son. And he always says that uh, life of leaders, the ultimate objective of leadership journey is finding our own truth of ourselves. So, uh, that's a lot of similarity. Uh, we should be actually careful about uh, only focusing on similarities. Uh, of course, we have differences. However, uh, probably, uh, I know many, many Western business schools, but as compared with all the business schools who is promoting leadership, Soil and uh, ISL is quite similar, even though we say strategic leadership and you say spiritual leadership, and inspired, inspired leadership. I uh, know one person in Seoul, so we are not alone. <laughs> Wonderful, I think uh, very fully put it. One has to say it in one line that, of course, leading oneself is more important than leading others. So, before leading others, one must know to lead oneself. And that's the journey that we are taking together so that people can lead themselves more. Uh, true global leader. 
without any doubt, I would say, why don't you send your employees six months or even three months to India? Let them live in uh, the community. Let them live in culture. Let them, in, let them interact with Indian people and understanding the meaning of the true meaning of diversity, dealing with diversity and sensitivity and compassion. That is real synergy coming from uh, in the eyes of uh, somebody who is ca cared about executive education and all more education in general. Thank you so much, Dr. Mola, for this, uh, for sharing this time with us. And we, uh, we truly thank you from our heart. Uh, we'd like to share gratitude from, from behalf of the whole soil community for coming here and inspiring us with your presence.